welcome to back to our roots homestead hope everyone's having a blessed week thus far but today here on the homestead we're going to do something a little bit different we're going to take you around and show you our equipment that we plan on using in case of an emergency so come on back used to the city now we got our own land life's getting real busy busy none of it was ever planned got the crib looking pretty pretty with a garden full of plants plans. And we built our own committee yeah. From the bottom we advance yeah. Back to our roots Ooh. Now we get back to our roots yeah. Put on your boots Put on. It's time to go take off your suit Ooh. Back to our roots yeah. Yeah. Now we get back to our roots yeah. Put on your boots It's time to fun with Cheryl Swoops Right now Right now Yeah Yeah Right now Right now Alright guys so before we get started, as you can see, we have some solar panels here, but before we get into all of that, the first thing I want to do um, is just send a lot of prayers, a lot of thoughts to people who have been affected by Hurricane Ida, um, everyone in Louisiana, Mississippi, um, that anyone that's in the path um, of the hurricane know that you're in our thoughts and prayers. And definitely, definitely um, a special shout out, um, special hug for Auntie T-Nog, Auntie Linda in um, New Orleans. We're thinking about you. You know we're here. We got your back. Um, so guys, anyone out there who may be struggling and going through it right now, just know we're thinking about you. Yeah, my man you. Dan at uh, Home in the Sticks over there in Mississippi too. They kind of getting it, so. It's tough, but it is. you know, we are, we live in this area. We live in the Gulf area too. So we are right in the um, path of hurricanes and usually it's either us getting them or New Orleans getting them. So we, we understand and we, we praying for you guys. Yep, we're here for you. Yeah. Which kind of led us into wanting to do today's video on, um, as we said, our emergency equipment that we plan on using. Um, so as you can see, we have, I don't even know how many you guys, but we have some solar panels here. We have 18 total. We have an array here. We have an array here. And we have an array here. And um, the arrays are, are, I think they're all connected. Um, the man who uh, had this property before us, he was really into uh, solar power. And so he set everything up really nice on it in here. Uh, as you can see, everything's hooked up um, over here. In here, this is kind of heavy. Um, it is heavy. Yeah, let me help it's you. stuck up there. But as you can see, here's our battery bank. We have tons of batteries. These batteries are huge. Um, essentially. It's six of them, but they're really, really big. So um, this is our battery bank. And now I'll take you in and show you. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you guys, here's the interesting part about. And this is our well, guys. I'm oh, sorry. This is our water well. Um, we're getting water right out of the ground. Um, so it costs a little bit to put it in, but hey, you get free water for life as long as the aquifer is full. And while you're here, we'll talk about, um, so we actually had to replace these pipes um, right. from the, the winter freeze that we had. Yes. We had um, our water froze, well, the pipes froze, so we were without water for a few days. Um, no electricity. Uh, we were without electricity for a couple of days, and then we were part of that rolling blackout that we had. But I would say having solar power um, was, or is, can be very beneficial, um, especially in a situation where, you guys, everybody knows the weather has been crazy this year, and none of us kind of know what to expect. Um, so we're definitely grateful and thankful and just figuring out how to use all of it. <laughs> yeah, and you know, like, I've been watching a lot of ledge videos. Uh, my man, uh, Sapper, you know, about the stuff. And I have all this equipment, and I just had to get out and learn more about it. Um, as you can see, our water well, here's the filters and everything. So this is our well house out here. Um, um, it has all our equipment for the well. Um, and here is all of my equipment for solar. So we have a... Uh, uh, a 
com a converter, a charger. Um, we have a disconnect AC power um, in inverter. Uh, we have it has its own meter. Um, it's a really nice system. I don't know much about it. I'm just getting into it. Um, and like I said, uh, Dan and, and, and Led, they've really been pushing me to study more. Um, it's a whole layout of how everything works here, as, as, as you can see, uh, that the, he put in. So, I mean, he put a really nice system uh, into place out here. And um, I just have to learn how to utilize it. But I wanted to show you all the stuff that we have. Hoping that some of you guys that are a little more uh, knowledgeable about this equipment than I am uh, can help us out. But uh, this is our uh, wheelhouse and this is all of our uh, equipment for the uh, solar. Alright guys, here's another panel. Uh, this panel here is, it is a solar panel but it's for a hot water heater. So basically this panel heats hot water in case the electricity ever goes out. This will keep the house Full of hot water. Um, as you can see it has an off and on switch there. Um, in our attic we have two hot water heaters, one for the grid and one for solar. So this is a solar hot water heater. Alright guys so we showed you everything outside with the um, solar panel so now we're in our laundry room. want to show you where the solar power breaker box is as well as our electrical, um, the regular breaker boxes are. Yeah, and on here, right here it's on, we on the city power. So right now, I got it on on the city power. I can turn it off if we just want it completely off. And when we're going to go to solar, we just go up one and it turns the whole house solar. Okay. And then over here is just the regular. It's um, a regular breaker power. box. And it's just a regular breaker box. It shows you your refrigerator, you know, everything that the the breakers and different stuff. Just a typical um, breaker box. And then this one. But over here is the solar one. So once you go to solar, this will show you all the things that the uh, um, uh, solar panels will control, and you'll still be able to use in the house. And as you can see, we'll still have our septic system. We'll have the living room lights and the front porch. We'll have the refrigerator. Uh, um, yeah, the family room, um, entertainment center. We'll have uh, AC. We'll have refrigerator. Uh, all the master bedroom lights, the office, the microwave, uh, the guest bath, and we can also wash clothes. So it pretty much runs the whole house solar. So in a case of emergency, uh, it won't give you everything, but it'll give you most of all of the regular stuff you would use on a daily basis. So, just wanted to show you all that, guys. All right. All right, guys, I also wanted to show you our gutter system. Um, all the gutters here at the house are connected to a pipe that's in the ground. And this goes into a rain catchment system that we have. But as you can see, there's no downspouts. Everything goes into the pipes. I'll show you a few more of the, of the, um, the spouts. They're all connected to a pipe that goes over and collects rainwater for us. All right, I'll show you guys how, where the water goes and how we collect it over there. All right, guys, this is where all the water that comes from the gutters uh, comes to. Uh, this is hooked to all the gutters, so the water drains directly into this 1,500-gallon uh, um, um, water barrel. And so this is great for us in case uh, stuff freezes. Uh, we can come out here and try to get water out of it. But um, it's a great system that's in place here on the homestead. We wanted to show you that. All right, guys. So, you know, we have to show you a little bit of what we've done over here also. So, Miss Renee, I've been taking care of my business in the garden. As you can see, we finished putting down this weed barrier. And guys, by the way, I actually like this, uh, I like the brown better. I don't know why. 
Yeah, it gives it a different color for sure. And y'all see I've moved my bike. So we're trying to get everything organized and figure out how we want to set up everything on this side. We got a lot more work to do yeah, we over here on this side. Stuff. So now that I got this all this side cleaned up, um, we can get our fall stuff out here. Uh, we can clean up over here also. But as you can see, you, the weed barrier is done. what your little... Uh, get off of that. Look at Rug rats are They're already biting stuff Stop up. it. Stop it. All right. <laughs> and I've already started making my buckets. So the brassicas are on the way. <laughs> All right, guys. Pepper row is winding down. We got a lot of peppers out here that we need to pick off of these trees. So we're going to get them down. We got a ton of peppers. So at this point, I'm ready to just pull everything and shut it down over here so that I can get this side of the garden together. All right, guys, thanks for coming along today. That's um, pretty much all we have for you today. Um, but again, to anyone and everyone that was in the path of Hurricane Ida, continue to be in the path that was affected by the hurricane, um, just know that we're going to continue to pray for you, keep you in our thoughts, um, and just know that we will get through this too. Um, you are not alone, so um, continued prayers for you all. And uh, like always, guys, we appreciate the support. Um, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for telling other people to subscribe because we have picked up some more subscribers, so um, it does not go unnoticed, and we're very grateful. But like always, everybody, please stay safe, stay blessed, stay healthy. We'll see you next time on Back to Our Roots Homestead. See you on the other side, guys. Man, it's 100 degrees. It's hot. <laughs> it's about 6 o'clock in the afternoon. All right, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. A little bit right here. A little bit right here is trying to confront the horses. And Shrek. And Shrek. And you know Shrek don't really care. He, he a boss. But, but he's backing up. He's asking, but he's backing up. <laughs> All right, guys. What up, Shreky? What up, buddy? Back to our roots, back to our roots. Back to our roots, back to our roots.